Hey guys, my name is Guadalupe Gonzalez, and today we're doing an exclusive interview with the Matt Sutman. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to move it. Okay, so all your fans want to know how do you become with that hit song, I Like to Move It? Well, um, I Like to Move It came about in 1990, 1994, I think 1993. Well, I met Eric Morello through a friend of his. And he's also a friend of mine, and we should all know him. His name is El General. You remember El General? Yeah, sure. Well, El Henahan, that's what they call him. He told me where he lived. I took the the train to 42nd Street, went to Eric's studio, and that's where I met Eric Morello. He was like, you know what, I want to hear what you got. And when I went to his studio, he was playing dance music at the time. Not not, not, a, not a, I like to move it or anything like that, because we didn't start with that yet. He was just playing dance music. And I was like, you know what, I always wanted to put my reggae style to some dance music. And he was like, you know what, go into the booth and let me hear what you got. I went to the booth, started rapping, started doing my Jamaican style, started doing it. Start seeing heads out the out, out the studio going like this. Came out the studio sweating. He was like, you know, man, we want you. That's how that started the era of I like to move. <laughs> So what are we uh, having this year new, new from you? New? What I'm working over the years um, took a break from from the real to real. In, in in 1997, that was the last of uh, the Mad Stuntman and Eric Morello. Eric Morello started doing his own thing. And I just took a break with family and relaxed a little bit. And, I mean, I, love, I still love the music and everything. So I've been working with different producers. And I have recorded, like, 14 albums with one producer. And he didn't, like, didn't want to get nothing out. He didn't want to, like, let no one hear it hear what we had so I was like man this thing is really frustrating it's keeping me back I'm like you know what it's time to move on move out of New Jersey head back to Brooklyn because when I got famous I moved to New Jersey so I moved back to Brooklyn relaxing with the family and 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 now we in um, 2013 2012 2013 and uh, I'm work, working on a, a, a brand new album. No, it's not titled yet. I did a song with Hathaway. Um, and you guys remember Hathaway? He sang um, "What Is Love." What is love, baby? Don't hurt me. Well, we got together with, uh, with a, a, a producer friend of mine, and he he lives in Switzerland. His name is Felipe. Felipe Roma, yeah, Felipe. He <laughs> would like that little shout out there. Um, and uh, we also been working with Chris um, Matthew, who is also uh, working with Felipe as well. But anyway, the song with Hathaway is called Up and Up. The video is on YouTube, and it's also on uh, OTV. Definitely is on there. It's been getting uh, number one, you know, and I really appreciate that. You know, a lot of love. Thanks to the fans for voting and. It's been crazy. So this is what the mass stuff man is about right now. Definitely, I'm, I'm going to be performing soon and uh, finishing up the album, wrapping it up, and uh, hopefully um, I'm going to record one of the videos, one of one one of yes, one of the video for a song on the album. Um, I'm going on vacation first in uh, Trinidad, my, my 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 hometown. A lot of people don't know that I was born in Trinidad. A lot of people think. Uh, 
Oh, maybe it's a Jamaican that sing that song or English guy that sing that song, but um, definitely it's a Trinidadian that sing that song from Trinidad and Tobago. And Hathaway, he's from Tobago. Yeah, so which make a perfect combination, Trinidad and Tobago, and we both have one number one song, you know. So that's why we came together and, and recorded that song. You're very famous in your role. Can you tell us more about that experience? It's another country, another culture. I'm not used to the word um, famous, but to people I am, you know, and which is grateful and thankful because I always wanted to be famous when I was younger. The feeling is good. It's a good feel. Once you stay true to your fans and your fans stay true to you, you give them what they want, you know, because I would go out there and sing and sign autographs, touch people, you know, take pictures, do whatever it takes. Whatever comes with a job, I'm there. If I'm not rushing off to do another song. And I'm, I'm always traveling to different countries like Russia. Russia is one of my favorite places to go perform. Um, Germany. I've been to Mexico. You know, Acapulco over there, that part of Mexico. Um, I've been to um, Amsterdam. I've been to Paris. I've been to... England, definitely, of course. I've been to uh, all these all these different places. And Japan, I've never been to China. Never been there. I've been to Denmark, Finland. I, I guess that's the same place. <laughs> I don't want to say anything else, but yeah, definitely, feeling is good. Well, thank you so much for this exclusive interview. It was such an honor for me having you today. And can you say some greetings to our fans, your fans out there? Oh yeah, definitely. I would like to say to all my fans that the Mad Stuntman, formerly of Real to Real, yes, the Mad Stuntman, will be back soon. You will definitely see me with a brand new single. I can't reveal the name yet, but definitely you will definitely see me. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. I like to move it, move it. You like to... Move it! OTV likes to move it, move it. OTV likes to move it, move it. OTV likes to move it, move it. They like to move it, right?